Yo, what's up guys? Today we're going to be doing a showcase on the new reworked and buffed units. We're going to be looking into Puppet Ant, Hammer, G Brothers, and Fiend Siblings. So these, all these units, they all got buffed. Um, I've done a showcase on Fiend Sibling before, and I've done a, a showcase on G Brothers before. Um, I haven't done a Puppet Ant showcase, so Puppet Ant is level 1 nature type with bleed. And it's ground unit, 400 place down, 5.3k damage, 5 attack speed, and 50 range with 6 categories. Siblings, Prodigy, Pure Evil, Puppeteer, Halfborn, and Girls with leader skill in the Halfborn category plus 50% attack boost. The Hammer is level 1, Dark, Ground type, 500 place down, 4.3k damage, 4 attack speed, 40 range with 6 categories. Brutes, Morsh Artist, Mortal, Siblings, Prodigy, linear, Legendary Lineage, and leader skill in the Brutes and category plus 50% attack boost so yeah let's go see um how good these units are so let's go alrighty we're in so let's go test out puppet ant first so puppet ant 5.3k damage 5 attack speed and 50 range so far so good let's go see the, the animations quick slash pretty cool all right so let's go upgrade it. 3.6k damage. More damage. Uh, no, 3.6k cash for first upgrade and then more damage. 10k more damage. 13k more damage. 20k more damage plus 2 more attack speed plus 40 more range in the 290 range and to a 7 attack speed. Deadly pin. So it's now fully upgraded. Um. So let's go see how good it is. So how good is it now? So it's now double slash, double slash, double slash. All right, so this is a double slash attack. Okay. Um. So this is have an infinite mode upgrade. So let's not bother with it. Um. It looks pretty mid. It's a bleed type, but it's pretty slow. 1.54 million damage. Seven attack speed, 108 range. I would say this is um. It's eh. It's eh. It's like it beats here. Alright, let's go check out the hammer now. So the hammer looks like he's a dude on steroids. So it's 4.3k damage, 4 attack speed, at 40 range with an AoE cone. Alright, so let's go see what um, the hammer could do. The hammer does an air punch. Okay, okay. This is not good. His attack speed is pretty fast, but it's still not doing enough damage. Plus another one down. Alright. So let's go upgrade this. 1.5k more damage. 2k more damage. 3k more damage. 4k. Um, more damage plus 20 more range. To 60 range. Hammer slam. Hammer slam is an AoE circle. Let's go see the new animation. Let's go see the new animation. He jumps up. He just jumps up. Is it, is it jump attack? That was air punch, but now it's much stronger. Wait, it's a much stronger air attack now, but now it does it like a um, smash effect. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see that one more time, though. Real quick, I didn't see all of it. So it does a smash attack. Yeah, it does a smash attack. Pretty cool. Um, Yeah. All right, so let's go 4.5k, more damage. 6k, more damage. 6.5k, more damage. 8k, more damage. 10k, more damage, plus 2 more attack speed to 6 attack speed. To um, 70 more range to 130 range. Hammer crush. So hammer crush. Its AoE circle is now a little bit bigger. Yep, it's a little bit bigger than before. Let's go compare real quick. Yeah, it's a little bigger. Alright, let's see the new animation. So it's just a jump jump in and a hammer attack move. Yeah, it's just a jump in and a hammer attack move. Alright, that's pretty cool. Alright, last upgrade is an infinite mill upgrade, so we're gonna have to put down two. 1.6 mil. More damage. Alright, let's put down two. We know does the animation did not change. So let's put down two of them. So the range is really good for this unit. Really, really good. Really good. Alright, so it's 1.46 million damage, 6 attack speeds, 156 range for the Raiden Story Mode upgrade. Um, I would say this is just because of the range and a good high attack speed. 
I think this is actually um, not bad. I would say it's an A minus unit or B plus. A minus B plus unit for um, Raids and Story. Um, yeah. So let's go and buff the Infinite Mode upgrade. 5.53 mil, 6 attack speed, and 156 range. His damage is kind of lacking, but um, definitely for sure lacking. But his attack speed is really good and his range is really good. Um, I would definitely um, say this is around the same. I would say it's like A minus, B plus as well. And so it's pretty average. This unit is pretty average. Um, you can't go wrong with it, really. It is an attainable unit through a raid, too. So this is definitely help you with um, um, a new to pro. 6.32 mil, 6 attack speed, 156 range. Yeah, it's just a little bit stronger with um, a, a UWAC um, buff. Yeah, this is a uh, these units are much more viable. I think if you're doing like a new to pro without buying anything, like ever, besides having farms, this might be it. But I think these raids are pretty hard without um, a farm or anything like that. But who knows? All right, so let's go check out um, G Brothers now. So all these units, all just for right now, they all just got damage buffs. That's pretty much it. They just gotta do more damage. All right, so G Bros, 6.76k damage for attack speed and 40 range. With AoE Circle, decent side AoE Circle. All right, let's see the first animation. So I have showcased this before, so we won't look too much into it. We're just going to look at the stats. He just shoots a missile. Yeah, he just shoots a missile. Missile. That's pretty much it. All right. So 2k upgrade, more damage, 3k more upgrade, more damage plus 1 attack speed to 5 attack speed, hybrid, 3k. Let's see if hybrid changes anything. I highly doubt it though. Let's see if hybrid changes anything. It does actually. Yo, now it does. So now she, uh, now the blue one does like a NG blast barrage move. So let's see that one more time. So now like the, in the hybrid upgrade. The blue one will do a um, energy barrage. All right, all right. So let's go 8.4k. Um, more damage plus 10 more range to 50 range. 13k. More damage plus 10 more range to 60k, 60 range. 21k. More damage. Seven attack speed increase to 12 attack speed. Plus 40 more range to 100 range. Plus number one and number two combo. 21k. Ooh, 900k, but it's 17, 12 attack speed. Oof. It's not bad. It doesn't look bad, but if you want to use this for like anything real. So now they both attack, I think. Where did the blue one go? The blue one jumps out of the air and like... The blue one does a... Uh, the blue one does an energy blast, I think. And then the red one does like the missile attack, I think. I think, is it? No, I have no idea what's going on, really. This is an animation. All right, so this is only a um, raid and story mode up, a uh, raid and story mode upgrade. So we're just gonna put it on Kisuke. But this is definitely does en enough damage for like inf infinite mode. Three point two four million damage, twelve attack speed, one hundred twenty range. But I won't be. It does. I'll say it's like C minus for um, infinite mode because it doesn't have an infinite mode upgrade. But um, it do it has some viability in infinite mode. Um, for raid and story, I'll probably say it's like. A minus. Yeah, for rating the story is A minus. It does a lot of damage on hit. But the attack speed is a killer. That kind of sucks. Alright, let's sell these. And now we're gonna look into Fiend Sibling. So Fiend Sibling, very small AoE circle, but he's um, bleed on placement. 6.6k damage, 6.2k attack, 6.2 attack speed, and 60 range. So let's go see. Fincy lands. So this is uh the ribbon attack. Ribbon attack. The range is pretty good. The attack speed is also pretty good, but the air circle is really bad. The AoE is really really bad. It's like super small. All right. So 2K, more damage. 2.5K, more damage. Plus five more range to 65 range. So 5K, more damage. 8k more damage plus 5 more range to 70 range. Demon technique blood splash. 8k. AoE circle is now a little bit bigger. It's now a little bit bigger. Let's go to see what I could do. The so blood splash technique. So that's the blood splash. 
pretty cool, pretty cool. Blood Splash is pretty cool. The circle is pretty small still, but it did increase from the previous size. So, next upgrade is 12k, more damage. 15k, more damage, plus um, 7 attack speed increase. So, 13.2 attack speed, plus 20 more range to 90 range, 15k. So, now it has a circle is a little bit more bigger as before. Um, let's go see what I could do. 6 mil. Interesting attack. It's pretty slow. It's really slow. The attack speed is gonna, gonna be a killer actually for this unit. It's really slow. Alright, so let's, we're going on to the infinite mode upgrades. 800k, more damage. 900k, more damage, plus 10 more range. To 100 range. And yeah, you're not using this unit. <laughs> I'll be real honest, I don't think you'll be using this unit. Um, it's just not too good. It's not bad bad, but like, I think at max, it's probably like gonna be like, it's probably gonna be like, um, oops, it's gonna be like 3 mil, 3 mil-ish. Alright, let's go use Kisuke buff, we're gonna uh, buff twice for um, infinite mode upgrade and raid mode upgrade. 2 mil, 13.2k, 13.2 uh, attack speed and 108 range. Yeah, the range is not good, man. The range is not good, the attack speed is not good. I don't know. I don't know if you want to actually use this unit ever. Um, yeah, the attack speed is really bad. 13.2 attack speed is really, really bad. Um, but it does have a bleed, though. 6.4, 6 million damage, 13.2 attack speed, and 120 range. So yeah, I think there's better bleed units options out there already. I'm pretty sure. At 500k damage, yeah, there's definitely better bleed out options. I'll say this is like B- for Raid and Story mode. But for um, Infinite mode, I'll say this is like... I'll say this is also pretty B- as well. It's a weak option. I mean, you will bring this if you don't have any other options, really. But yeah... Um, so let's go buff with uh, Almighty for the infinite mode upgrade. 7.3 mil, 9 million damage, 13.2 attack speed, and 120 range. Um, yeah, this is uh, definitely B minus overall. So honestly, the best one IMO is probably going to be G Brothers or the Hammer. But I don't think any of these units are hit any viability. They're, like, they're not that viable in any, any events or cases. Like I wouldn't use, touch these units like ever. So anyways guys, thank you all for watching. Uh, I'll be back next time with another All-Star Tower Defense video. In the meantime, have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.